let me go home and just pick up the guitar and pretend I'm in that moment in the future in a concert, like the concert I dream of. Mm. Like I'm there. Visualize. I, I just, I'm, I'm like, you're going to go there. You're going to pick up the guitar and pretend. Just pretend you're there. Like you're already there. Yeah, I'm getting my back. Oh yeah, I'm giving it back. Oh yeah, they bite my swag. Don't chew it on tongue, chew it on crack. Oh, yeah, don't only care if they buy. Don't only care if they buy. Don't only care if they buy. I'm spreading positivity. Welcome back to the Treehouse Show. We have a very special guest. We got my boy Vic. Yo, yo, yo. In the in the behind corner or in the black corner. <laughs> I've been watching too much boxing lately. Um, how are you doing in this eventful day? Oh man, I'm just blessed here, man. I'm blessed here to be in the heart of Chicago. Um, yeah, yeah, shout out Chicago. <laughs> Woo -woo! Shout out Shy Town, you already know. Before we get into it, we just finna jam. We just finna jam real quick, cause Vic is a very um, unique guitarist, and we want to showcase that. We want to showcase that today. So um, prepare your ears for spiritual musical ear gas. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's go. I'm just finna. I'm just gonna raffle. All right. I'm just gonna raffle. actual tunes but we're just warming up we are just you know breathing in this good ass oxygen and we are just happy to be alive and happy to be in this moment and most most importantly we are grateful hell yeah aren't we grateful we are grateful grateful af living grateful in AF. Gra gratitude absolutely absolutely you are um watching the treehouse show the what can I say? The chillest podcast in the universe. Hell yeah, um, hell yeah. And we have we have Vic. We have Vic, and Vic is a very special guitarist, and you just vibed with us in the last few minutes. Thank you for, you know, soaking up all of those vibrations. We are grateful beyond measure. And, um, yeah, how was your, how's your week been? How's your day been so far? Fill um, us in. Well, let's just say last night I was at a, at a festival at one of my homie Alex's backyard. And uh, I got to witness some amazing artists, um, Mona Lisa, um, Cole, Cole's World. So shout out them. Um, shout out my boy Alex. Um, yeah, just got to really, um, let's see what else. Oh, I also was uh, playing in Logan Square. If you're from Logan Square. Logan uh, Square, shout out. Woo -woo! Hell yeah, Logan Square. I was playing there two nights ago uh, at Six Corners, um, right there by the Foot Locker. So it was it was amazing time. Um, yeah, yeah, it was it was great, man. It was really that's beautiful. It was, um, if you all don't know, I don't know Logan Square to me. Yeah, yeah, is special. Logan Square. I lived in Wicker Park for a while. Okay. And Wicker Park to me is like a diminished version of Logan Square. No, no, no smoke. <laughs> but 
Logan Square to me is like, I want to say, not to be, like, I embrace this term. Like, that's what people want to call it. It's like the hippie center of Chicago. Oh, man. There's there's so many different types of people there. Um, you vibe with that? I vibe with yeah. that. Um, I remember when it was very populated with Latinos. Oh, um, I didn't and, know that. Um, yeah, so now there's a lot of, I mean, white people, I'm just going to say. They got gentrified. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, um, but at the same time, there's some beauty behind it. I mm. see it. I kind of see some beauty behind it all. Um, I mean, there's white people there. There's Latinos there. So, um. It kind of came together as like a artistic melting pot. Yeah. Now, man, now it's, it's, uh. There's a lot of art there. There's there's just so much art. Lots of spirit it's there. It's almost overwhelmed. It does have a. You can almost cut it with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, bro, it's uh, it's uh. Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, that that just brings me back to uh, the whole motivation of my music is to uh, kind of bring out that backyard party vibe that I grew mm. up with um, when I was younger. Okay. It was like you know. So. Um, just kind of backpacking, unpacking. Yeah. So, Vic, where are you from? Oh hell yeah! Uh, hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? What you repping? <laughs> hell yeah! Uh, you feel me? Let's let's hear let's hear what's happening in your universe. Okay, so uh, yeah, basically, I uh, was born in Chicago, <clears throat> UIC Hospital. My mom was in school, okay. and she had me real young. Um, ended up moving a lot. Moved to Elgin. Moved to Melrose Park. Moved to Bolingbrook. Um. And so you was backpacking. You were... Yeah, yeah. So uh yeah, I've been I've been all around. I definitely know Chicago like real well. I I grew up on the north side mostly though, Logan Square, Humble okay. Park. Um, oh, so that's your stumping grounds, Logan Square, bro, Humble Park. I love I love it, bro. I love <laughs> it there, bro. And uh but yeah, nah, I mean all the all Chicago land, I welcome, I embrace, bro. I love it all. Um Yeah, yeah. That's... I feel that. So I, I bet like what was it like kind of just moving around a lot? Uh, you always had to be the new kid and, uh, well, that's what my mentality was. You know, I'm the new kid and, uh, I always had to prove myself in the way. Um, like, uh, I didn't have a click all the time. You know what I'm like saying? Like ma- ma- machismo or like, yeah. or like trying to be like the <laughs> smart, just trying to be something you're not like what kind of way? In uh kind of like, oh shit, I'm the new kid again. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make my move. I gotta, you know, I gotta. I gotta, fit in. Yeah, I got to fit in or, you know, make my splash. I'm the new kid on the mm. block. So I did it a lot, a lot of times is what I'm trying to say. So um, how did you make this, this splash? Uh, You know, just doing me, bro. Just being different. Um, bringing whatever I loved from the last move to, mm. you know, the new place or whatever. But, I mean, it, it was definitely, like, at least, like, four moves, five moves. So, um, yeah, but... I mean, still, my heart is here. You know, it's right here that. in Chicago, Chicago. Absolutely. I bet, like, moving around a lot, you know, just bringing, you know, what you've learned from these different places. Yeah, yeah. I, I bet that made you, like, I'm pretty sure that kind of led you to kind of display what I've always known you to have. It oh. almost ha- be this free spirit. Okay, you know, okay. You always stood out to me. So, for those of you all who don't know, shoot. Okay. <laughs> we went to... Um, the nerdiest school in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> IIT, not the Indian Institute of Technology. No. Illinois Institute of Technology. But also yeah. shout out to Indian Institute of Technology. Yeah. I heard that shit is like MIT. Hard oh. as fuck to get into. Okay. So y'all some G's. Um, but yeah, I met Vic through a mutual friend, Prince. Shout out, Hell Prince. Yeah. Shout you out, Prince. You will hope for not popping out and flaking on us, but we love you. The um, Fresh Prince. Fresh <laughs> the Prince. Fresh Prince, you feel me? Um. But yeah, I met through Prince, and they were like always hanging out, and I was like, man, I want to be a part of that. Like they cool, like they, they on their own wave. You feel me? And oh, like yeah. I was a kid, I kind of like hung out with everybody. Yeah, you know, I would hang out with the jocks. I would hang out with like the gym rats. I would hang out oh, with yeah. the sports teams, the nerds, everything. But Prince and kind of Vic, they seem like kind of two different people. So yeah. like the fact that they kind of formed their friendship, and I was like, wow, like Prince is kind of this <laughs> outspoken. Making jokes about everything type dude. Oh, yeah. No, you know what I'm no. saying? Just like really like unfiltered. Just yeah, like, no, no. Just on some cancer shit. Like tough love. Like he'll roast you, but you know it's like out of yeah. a place of love. And yeah. And kind of struck me at first, ladies, like, and kind of quiet, soft spoken. So I'm like, whoa. He like, said, whoa, whoa. I, I want to look into that, you know? So I kind of met him and just always been a super chill dude. Oh, no. So um, tying that back to that oh. kind of makes sense. 
you know, you have always had to kind of bring your special, unique character to wherever you go. Yeah. And that yeah. showed. Oh, wow. No, thank you, man. Um, Yeah, no. When I first met Amadou, I was like, oh, man, this guy's this guy's skateboarding you know he he's 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 gonna he i don't know bro i was like this guy's he's too smooth you know so you know when smooth recognizes it, smooth so big facts bro yeah so yeah smooth recognize smooth i'm gonna use that for sure for but, sure um, that's awesome man um but yeah so for those of you who don't know you know yeah. vic plays guitar um is an up, up and coming musician oh yeah where yeah. did so okay so we were at iit right yeah so yep. During that time, because I know you kind of went and did your own thing. Yeah, yeah. For a while. What was that journey like? What was was that you finding yourself? You know, what, what was kind of that phase from like I guess when you left IIT up yeah. until the last year or two? Okay, so yeah, I was doing engineering at IIT, pretty hard classes, mechanical engineering, <laughs> mechanical engineering. Yeah, he was a mechy. Yep. So uh, <laughs> I was just doing them, and then I was like, "Yo, man, like, yo, man, like, you're looking up answers on the internet, like." this don't feel genuine. I want my life to be more genuine. So I went back to mom's crib um, and I went to community college. I was like, all right, if it's not engineering, let me try something else. Took a history class. Mm. And I was like, damn, I love history. You know, um, I love people, you know, but still it, it didn't click to me. School's my thing. So you really had that aha moment. Yeah, no, there was no school's my thing. So I dropped out of school, um, just kept working, just keep saving, working. Um, and then one day I just had the, uh, I was at the parking lot and it just had this thought, just go into Guitar Center, man. So then I'm like, wow, like a random, really download. spontaneous, really spontaneous, bro. Really spontaneous. And then, um, yeah, no, nah, the credit does not go to me for picking up the guitar. I just went in there. I picked up, I said, you got any used guitars? Give me a, a hundred dollar guitar. Um, something just told you. Yeah, yeah, and then um, I went down the block. There was like a discount video kind of place, real cool place. They had an amp there for like twenty bucks. I was like, all right, let me take that. It was electric. Electric. So I got an electric guitar and an amp for really cheap, really cheap, man. We're talking like a hundred fifty max, you know. And um, yeah, so um, basically I took that home, you know, played with it here and there. And then, I mean, I well, we might have to cut this out, but um, so basically, um, it's it's a month or two since I have this guitar, right? And um, one day, shout out Jimi Hendrix, my favorite guitarist. Um, <laughs> wow! Ding. Shout out Jimi Hendrix. Yes, yes. You make my heart Bro. sing. Oh my God. Yes, yes. Shout out Jimi Hendrix. Um. <laughs> And, um, yeah, basically, I've had this guitar for a couple months or n now. I'm like, yo, man, like, Jimi Hendrix, man, like, this guy, this guy made music that just came from nowhere. Dude was crazy. From a different world, you know? Dude was insane. He was playing with his teeth. Bro. Dude was... He was... He, he raised the bar so high. Honestly, I don't know how people even play guitar after that. Bro, bro, there's only one way to play it, bro. There's... It's like, it's like... This dude was like, okay, so y'all, like, I'm going to fuck the bar up. And, oh, like, bro. now y'all can't even play anymore. Like, no, he... No, no. He, 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 he did it, man. Um, so, yeah, then, um, I'm, you know, I'm thinking, though, I'm just getting that inspiration, just thinking of him, his music. And I'm like, all right, let me go home and just pick up the guitar and pretend I'm in that moment in the future in a concert, like, the concert I dream of. Mm. Like, I'm there visualize i i just i'm i'm like you're gonna go there you're gonna pick up the guitar and pretend just pretend you're there like you're already there so then i take a hit of a dab pen i don't know what was in it um so i'm just gonna say that but it was a dab pen one hit and i'm like i don't know i don't I, maybe i didn't need to hit it okay so i'm just i just you know i'm one very mindful of stuff substances or whatever um but um so yeah i take a hit man i pick up that guitar i swear to god it was so easy it came so easy to me you know i heard sounds from the guitar like it was so easy it just wow. it was a quick realization that you know playing the guitar isn't as hard as we think um and i'm gonna prove it to the world is kind of like 
kind of like how I am the right thought now. Process. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a weird. You know, it was just a magic. Like yeah. how how in sync I felt with the guitar, um, the feeling that I felt, the amount of joy, um, mm. the amount of like confidence I had after that was, you know, it was like. It was just um, you just felt like it was almost destined. I don't know, bro. It's like you feel destined, but it's at the same time you're just so grateful, man. You're just so grateful for it to have played out that way. Like I think about it like pretty much, you know, all the time it's always in my mind like, yo man, you were blessed with that moment of, you know, the spontaneous. It was really spontaneous. It's all kind of been but yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell me, so so going to high school, yeah, um, yeah. you know, earlier education. Okay. Did you like, is this like your first instrument experience? Did uh, you play any other instruments or? Actually, um, no, my dad bought me, shout out my dad, Thomas Medina. He uh, bought me a piano when I was, I want to say, I want to say like second grade or something. And uh, I, I played it, but I just didn't give it my all. It was just, mm. you know, it, I had the idea that. I need to learn from the book and um yeah like that's how they teach us you know learn yeah. from the book take the class know how learn how to read um, oh music. man and it was just my mind was like ah oh, man that that book <laughs> i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna learn that piano like so i never ended up playing that so yeah my dad did did you know drop that piano right yeah. there in second grade so that was that's cool but um it's crazy how like how they, they call it the strength of weak ties. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and I don't know if, if I'm defining it correctly, but mm-hmm. it's it's almost, and I guess I'm taking this to mean something else, more okay. like figure, figure of speech wise, but it's like you can do something earlier on mm-hmm. and it can come back mm-hmm. years later, mm-hmm. like a completely different form. Yeah, so yeah. At, at that, at that, it's just like at that time, like you said, a lot of it has to do with spontaneity. Okay. And a lot of it has to do with just like, the moment mm-hmm. so it's like at that time yeah you just weren't ready or at that time mm-hmm. you just at, you were just at a time in your life where just that wasn't the, the right opportune moment for you yeah it could, it could have even been the same thing but it's just the timing is everything so the fact that like you're probably exposed to these things earlier on mm-hmm. without you unconsciously knowing you kind of left like a bookmark mm-hmm. okay and then later on in your life you came back to that yeah oh, so wow. I, I definitely i can relate to that personally like growing up mm-hmm. My mother was like super kind of spiritual, really, you know, law of attraction, the universe. Wow. So, so, and then I was always like, uh, not really interested. I'm interested, mm-hmm. and I kind of like rebelled against that. Yeah, right. But then here we are. Yeah, yeah, you're in it. You're in it. Too. So it's and I, I I vibe with you so much with that. Where it's, it's yeah. almost like, especially when your parents give you something to do, it's almost like a lot of times you process that like, well, what are they trying to? It, it's yeah. like you kind of reject it without even like just yeah. the fact that it's your parents who gave it to you. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, and when you he know? gave me the guitar, man, I was like, that shit looks dope. Like, that shit looks fun, you know? Like, I definitely got that vibe. Like, that is fun. Like, like yeah. there's some fun there. But it was just, you know, that whole, you had to learn it, you know? That, it wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't have the thought of just experiment and keep experimenting. Exactly. So, um, yeah, it's, uh. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, yeah, even when I was like in kindergarten, I remember I had like toy band stuff, man. I was there singing, like I was there playing with the fake guitars, like you know. I ha- I know I I I've I've come to realize that I do love music, like it is a love, and uh, you know, the more I think about it, the more I go back and reflect. Like, yeah, I do love it, you know. But it's just it's just it's just a weird thing for everyone to ad- like admit, like. That we love our own music, you know. It's it's just not it's not normal. Mm. At least it, in my mind, it doesn't feel so normal. I um, feel like that's completely normal to mm-hmm. feel that way, mm-hmm. you know. Because what is normal? Right. That's another thing. And then like, why are we striving to categorize emotions mm-hmm. and like what's normal and not? Because that almost creates sub subconsciously. Yeah. It almost creates a system of grouping ideas mm-hmm. in order of what feels normal and not normal versus what makes you feel good yeah it's like you're just setting yourself back mm-hmm. you know because like what if all thoughts have a purpose 
mm-hmm. but you're suppressing certain thoughts or certain feelings because society says it's not normal. Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. it's just, it's, that that's like kind of super like deep. No, but no, it's something no. to think about. Yeah, no, no, no. Like it's... who who said that that's normal? According right. to who? Right. According to you, but aren't we all our own universe? Right. Right. So why is why did your you become our you? If that makes sense. Yeah. Why is it my you? My you. Why? Why is it my you? Are you? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You know what? I knew this would happen, <laughs> but I didn't think it would happen this early. Um. Anyway, um, we have, we have like a lot of stuff going on, um, and it's your favorite time of the day. Let's go. It's the favorite time of the day. It's guess the fruit, uh, featuring Vic. What's yo, poppin'? Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's um, going on? So, in the right corner, and this has been on the show like, multiple times. What is this? What do we got? What is this orange obstacle or object right here? Oh, uh, is that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> guava? He said guava. <laughs> no, I'm not with you. <laughs> I'm going to just post that on the story. Hell no, yeah. No, um... Well, at least, like, I guess they're, like... C- CD fruits with like the seeds are just in in the middle. So, like, okay. Categorically correct, but um, it's a papaya. Okay, papaya. Yeah, yeah. No, I've heard of papaya. Yeah. Yeah, we got papaya. Um, yeah, I know these fruits are hard as fuck. So like, no, even <laughs> like no one gets them right. No, I, like, I feel like only one person on the show has guessed it correctly. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. like, don't don't beat yourself up over that. Nah, nah. It's all good, bro. It's all good. But yeah, man. Um. Knock yourself out. It's good for you. It's good for your skin. Uh, yeah, it's rich in antioxidants. It. Let me try this. Oh, yeah, man. Knock yourself out. Um, and then, like, we got apples. We got grape tomatoes. We got mushrooms. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, Are they yeah. the magical kind? <laughs> Are they uh, the normal kind? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Um, we got... You know what this is? Uh, oh, man. No, man. You don't know what that is, I bro? Don't know what that is. What? <laughs> what? He said, come on, man. <laughs> no, no, you good, you good. No, I have to, like, remind myself that, like, not all of these are, like, comedy. You comedy. know what I'm saying? Like, you have to... Yeah. I just know them because I, I always do them, but, like, mm. from an outsider, or, like, if you're not someone who does this on a daily, you know, who... It's, it just does look weird as fuck, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, no. You know? I I always eat Chipotle bowls to get my uh, greens. Chipotle bowls kind of, you know, they got guacamole, they got lettuce, they got roasted peppers, so, you know. Okay. Yeah. So, so you really focus on what you put into your body too. Oh yeah. We were talking about off camera, we we're talking about like not eating and fasting and stuff. So, where did that factor in? Um. So basically, uh, it all started from me not being able to process milk. I'm lactose intolerant. Same. That so should, that should be beating my ass. Hell yeah. So uh, yeah, I love pizza and I can't eat it. So uh, yeah, I started looking into what I could eat. Um. And I started just paying attention. That just made me start paying attention. Like, what makes my body feel good? What hurts my stomach? What doesn't hurt my stomach? So that, um, yeah, going off of that, that's really what, I, that's what I'm on right now. Just, you know, what is my stomach feeling good? How's my energy levels, you know? Yeah. No, and like, what you were saying earlier about how, like, you didn't eat breakfast today. No, no breakfast today. But I, thank you, I'm, gonna do, I'm I'm eating right now. The first thing going into... <laughs> the first thing going into your body, I literally almost died. No Bro. Though. I'm, I'm, I'm thriving. Um, the first thing that's going into your body is an unknown fruit. Yep. That is a superfood, in my opinion. Oh, it's a superfood. Okay. Super food okay. Because nah. It's chock full of at least like twenty or to thirty of the essential vitamins. Wow. That the body needs. Wow. So it's it's very it's extremely healthy. It's super high in antioxidants. So okay. basically, the body, um, over time, mm-hmm. working out, um, just moving around, mm-hmm. free radicals pop mm-hmm. up all over the body. Okay. And free radicals are basically, like, think of like a car. Okay. You know, a car burns um, oil and it releases fossil fuels. Yeah. Or it releases uh, carbon dioxide. Yeah. Which is kind of like a trash. It's kind of like a, it's a waste. It's a ash. Or... It's a waste. Exactly. Yeah. So the body is a machine. So the body's waste is in the form of free radicals, mm-hmm. and basically free radicals are like the product. It's like the unreacted stuff, the stuff after 
the stuff reacted, it's mm-hmm. what's left over. Okay. And the more that stuff accumulates, mm-hmm. it, it basically causes all sorts of disease. It can cause cancer. The more of the free radicals you have, it just it just makes your body more acidic, mm-hmm. which basically makes your body more prone to be attacked by like viruses and shit. Basically, mm-hmm. it weakens your immune system. Okay. But antioxidants, mm-hmm. they have um, the extra chemicals. Or okay. The extra, um, just like they have the extra, I guess, ions. Mm-hmm. So ions are just the charge. They have the extra charge and the extra um, acids and bases and stuff mm-hmm. like that, which react with the ash, re- which reacts with the free radicals. Okay. Right? And basically, through that reaction, it eliminates them. It mm-hmm. makes some other compound. And that other compound is usually good for you. Or if it's not, if it can't be digested by the body, it can be digested by the enzymes in your body. Which is good for you because those enzymes get rid of the free radicals too. So, long story short, mm-hmm. the more colorful the fruit, yeah, like the orangier it is or the redder it is, yeah, ninety nine times out of ten, it's like really good for you. It's a superfood. Wow. Okay. Thank you. No, I definitely need to learn more about fruits and the earth, all the plants, and who knows all the medicine that we have yet to discover from earth. Absolutely, man. Nature is medicine. Oxygen oh, is that medicine. Water is life. Yeah, yeah, no, you know? yeah. Life is all about expressing ourselves um, through art, through through um, our essence, mm-hmm. through our beliefs, through the way we treat others. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, through yeah. the knowledge, we, the, w- through our wisdom. There's so many ways and there's so many avenues we can go about expressing ourselves. The sky's the limit. Don't limit yourself because we are limitless. Yes. Period. We, yep. What were we just talking about? We were talking oh. about the mind. Tries yeah. To limit us. Yeah. So, um, basically, how much, like, just, it's crazy that we don't admit to ourselves, like, how much we're downplaying ourselves, how much we're telling ourselves, like, we can't do it, how much we, like, punish ourselves. There's, like, a, it's, like, a little feeling, like, a, like, a feeling the mind is, like, just pinching us in a way sometimes, like, it feels like a pinch, like, yeah. it's, it's so weird. Where do you, have, have you tried to, like, locate... Where where is that feeling coming from? Um, you know. No, I, I don't know, but you know, cause it, I I know it's like a pinch. It's like a feeling, yeah. like oh, I don't feel like yeah. something's like resisting what I want to do. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I feel like if we could pinpoint that location mm-hmm. and then like not remove it, but like talk to it, mm-hmm. maybe like acknowledge it. Maybe it's like something that like just wants to be noticed. Okay, you know? okay. And I feel like. If we notice it and don't like uh, hold it back, I feel like that might be a key, a way to kind of get past that. Oh, wow. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because what happens when you like shake something up mm-hmm. and then you don't release it? Right, right. It gets bottled up. It gets bigger. Huh? It gets bigger. So I almost feel like, and I feel like that's that's what meditation is all about. Yeah. People yeah. think it's about being quiet and being silent, uh-huh. which I mean, that might be a an entry for a lot of people to get into meditation. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like the long-term goal is not to get rid of pain. It's right. not to get rid of suffering. I feel like it's to acknowledge that pain and suffering, right? Yeah. Are yeah. a part of life and are out of our control. To an extent, you can't control when something's going to show up and cause you pain. Right. When something's going to show up. But what you can control is how you process that. Right, right. You know? Yeah, no, no, that's crazy. Um. Yeah. Awkward balls. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you try that asparagus? Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, the carrot. Carrot was amazing too. Oh man. I, also, I never got your opinion on the special fruit. Oh, papayas. Oh man, fire, 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 uh, fire. fire. Smooth, smooth, nice and uh, sweet. Um, yeah. No, no, that was good stuff. Um, I love it when things that are good for you taste good. Yeah, no, no, it's crazy. And um, sometimes when you eat eat stuff, um, like, you know, when you feel good after or you don't feel your stomach hurting, like, that's awesome, you know? So, yeah. So, tell me about your first performance experience. Okay. Uh, so, my per- first performance experience was in uh, Logan Square. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, I called my buddy Otis. I uh, just called him, said, what up? What, what's going on? Um, if Shout free. out, Otis. Otis, Odie, you the hey, man. A lot of people didn't see you. 
but I saw you at Lala breaking your motherfucking neck, bro. Shout out Jenna. Um, my rave buddies, y'all found me and we had a great fucking time and it wasn't planned and I love that. But continue. But um, yeah, no. So me and Otis, we pull up. Um, I pick him up. We go to Logan Square right there at the Eagle. If you know Logan, you know where that Eagle is. Um, Milwaukee so, Avenue. Yeah, yeah, Milwaukee Avenue, right there by the Logan Theater. So then, uh, yeah, we we pull up and uh, yeah, there's people there. We plug up. Uh, we got a wireless amp. Um, we start jamming to just some music, some tracks, mm. and then we get loose with it. Ooh. And then, um, yeah, basically, um, Otis starts going hard, starts dancing hard, and then, uh, yeah, we both, we so both. Otis be going hard. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, he be going, dancing really hard. Uh, wow. His, his biggest influence is, uh, MJ, Michael Jackson. Ooh, I'm back, I'm back, yep. you know it. Bro, who wouldn't want to be MJ, bro, man. Honestly, Mount Rushmore. Bro. Bro. MJ's on it. Bro. I, I don't care what music genre. Yeah. MJ, rap MJ. Like, wow. He's just, he's on the Mount Rushmore of music. Yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah, no, that was, that was insane. Beat it. Mm. Beat it was nasty, bro. <laughs> so much talent. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was a virtue to strive yeah. towards. In any anything, yeah. Business people should study him. Engineers oh, wow. should study him. Just his his commitment mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to what he he was an entertainer. Mm -hmm. He made people feel something. Yeah, and he did that better, in my opinion, than anybody who ever Damn. existed. Damn. Like, I've traveled a lot of places. Yeah, I've been to a lot of places. I've been to a lot of third world countries. I've been to a lot of places, villages. I've been to, I've been to metropolitan like me metropolises like yeah. dubai like the most developed places you know what the consensus is they all agree sometimes they don't speak english mm -hmm. they don't even know like a lot of they don't even know justin bieber but you know they know they know michael jackson damn they may not even speak english or like none of this shit but they know michael jackson the f he was just so well known he was just he was just an energy that people just rallied behind wow magical oh. magical oh my God. man i could talk about mj all day but <laughs> But so that show, like, you went there, Otis, y'all going crazy. Yep, we go crazy, and then um, yeah, so I start playing, and then um, it's like it's like my first strike of the guitar. I could like feel the energy, I could see it kind of, mm. and then um, yeah, I'm I'm just like, like I was it was it was rough at first to get into the groove. But then eventually it was like, oh, yeah, I got it. And, uh, you know, just making people feel good. Man, you should have seen the park, man. It was beautiful. It was outdoors. Outdoors, man. Logan Eagle. Man, you could host a festival there. If you're anyone's oh. down, let me know. We will jam there. You could definitely host a festival there easily. Like, the vibes. Once we started playing, like, the vibes changed there completely. You know, like, it was it was lit. It was, it was fun, man. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, yeah. So I want to I want to do that more, man. Honestly, to be be honest with you, you know, light up mm. the world. <laughs> mm. Going five, ten years back. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Did Did you see yourself? Could you see yourself like, you know, making people feel these things about themselves, or, you know, you mentioned before how you said one woman said you just changed her day. Mm hmm. Did you see yourself as somebody who could do that? You know, even a few months back. No, but I had the confidence. So, I definitely had the confidence. Like, I've had the confidence for a long time. Um, Where does it come from? A lot of people search for confidence. They can't find it. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe being the new kid all the time, you know? You know? there's. Mm. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's part of it, but I definitely had the confidence pretty early on. Um, you got to have confidence to even try engineering. Yeah, a true. Lot of people don't true. Talk about that. True. Yeah. The fact that you, you know. <laughs> yeah, engineering be. Whoo, that's 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 another level, man. That's another level, man. That's, you made it. You you did like two years. Yeah, yeah, two years. Yeah. I did two years, but I. You know, even to make it that far. Okay. A lot of people, first semester. 
Yeah. Shout yeah. out all the, you know what I'm saying? No, shout out all the hard workers, the real hard workers. Listen, I cheated a lot. Bro, I cheated too. Don't Bro. Talk about, don't talk about. <laughs> I cheated a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I cheated a lot growing up. I'm just gonna say it now. Fuck. Do I feel a little bit of remorse and shame? Perhaps. But honestly, bro, don't be too don't beat yourself up too bad about that. Because like this education system. Yeah. The way it overworks students and overvalues it overvalues or overemphasizes like performing mm-hmm. and like test format, standardized tests. Yeah. And in my opinion, I don't think that's the best way to evaluate intelligence. Mm-hmm. I, I know so many people. There's this dude in Tanzania. Mm-hmm. His name is Nesh. Shout out, Nesh. Okay, Never okay. Been to school. You know, smartest yeah. guy I know. Okay. You show him something, he can do it in an instant. Mm-hmm. Really fast work in mind, but he just hasn't been to school. Right. You know, probably wouldn't do good in a test. Yeah. You know, a test is just how much knowledge can I show that I have for this type of test that mm-hmm. is gonna have exactly it's basically how much how good are you at memorizing yeah memorizing is only one form of intelligence Pro, i mean memorize, memorizing is not like i'm not downplaying it is important mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but that's just one part of intelligence you have critical thinking mm-hmm. you have creativity imagination there's so many types of intelligences and i don't i dislike how school um, and I'm, I'm a mechanical engineer. You know, I'm a math okay. head. I was like the math nerd. You loved it, bro. I love the shit. Hell but I'm, yeah. not, I'm still not going to lie. There were people, I, could, I couldn't dream in a million years to draw like them. Mm-hmm. I couldn't dream in a million years to sing like them. Mm-hmm. Am I any better than them because my intelligence just happened to be in math or so and so? No. Mm-hmm. There's different types of intelligences. And the fact that I feel like engineering and all these, these schools only pri- prioritize one sort of assessment. Mm-hmm. Of those intelligences, I feel like it's limiting us as a society because mm-hmm. we don't know what we're capable of. <laughs> we incorporate no. those people who may not have been that kind of thinker, but maybe is a different kind of thinker, mm-hmm. you know, or yeah. communicator. So, props to everybody who you know made it in the program, you know, who who even like had the courage to even give it a shot. Yeah, you know, yeah props no. to shout props out to Dimash, them. shout out to Gio, okay, shout out okay. to all y'all. You feel me? Like for real, for real, y'all was some cool ass people, but um. But yeah, man, it's just like there's so much that that we're capable of. Okay, so there's got to be changes made to the to education. Education assessment. Like, I don't think tests are like. I don't think they're. I'm not saying they're all bad, but I feel like there needs to be other forms of evaluations at the higher level. Okay. You know, it's not all about SAT scores or so and so IQ tests. That plays a role, but that's not everything. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. And the way these end of the year assessments, which really do or die, it's really decide if you're going to be this or that, mm-hmm. boil down to that kind of, you know, black and white assessment, which mm-hmm. to me is stupid. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Growing up in high school, I went to, oh, yo, Noble Schools. You know what's up? Roe Clark, Humble Park. Um, woo woo. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it Ro Clark. Um, I did. Yo, knock some of these out. Okay. But at Ro Clark, um, it kind of felt like it was a what a charter school. So you had to wear a uniform. You couldn't mm-hmm. speak in the hallways, stuff like that. Um, you know, it kind of doesn't give you the feeling of you get to do what you want to do. You know, I don't know. I just feel the need to say that that I don't feel like. How did you? How did, I don't how know. that make you feel? I don't know. But then again, you know, it's also a blessing because I'm like, damn, I gotta express myself. And then you know, mm. the guitar, bro, it it all connects in the way. So. Do you feel like these obstacles kind of made you who you are today? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. But at the same time, I know my energy is, you know. Limitless. I, I I feel like it is limitless. Mm. That's a very spiritual thing to say. Okay. You know. Where? When did you kind of say? Because COVID, and I'm just taking me for example. COVID yeah. is when I really kind of tapped into. You know me in college. Yeah, I yeah, was, yeah, bro. I know, let bro. Let me um. Let's just say, I wasn't very spiritual. Right, right, <laughs> my <laughs> man. Say the least. You know, you're not gonna go into detail. Yeah, but. I was, I was the opposite spiritual. Anyway, <laughs> but like, look at me now. You know what I'm no. saying? So, so my thing is, 
you know, COVID, a lot of things happen. People, people change. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why I'm kind of against cancel culture, but that's a whole other thing. Okay. Um, but what do you think? When, when did you think that kind of clicked in, where you kind of just became more open minded and looking at really start asking the right question? You know, in terms of like spirituality. Um, where did that come from? You're saying like yeah, when did that start? Been a, a very critical thinker. Yeah, yeah. Know, but when did? You know, because like now when I see, saw you, like I uh, bumped into you about two months ago at Prince, you seem very spiritual and tuned with, yeah, you know, yeah. nature and stuff. Oh, also. Yeah. So when did that kind of, when did you start appreciating these kind of you uh, know, other aspects of life? Uh, basically, um, man, I mean, it, it had to have been when I came, when I went to uh, Bolingbrook. Mm. Uh, I went to Bolingbrook after IIT. Okay. So yeah, no, just just looking looking around constantly, like, yo, what is, what what am I gonna do? Like like I I tried engineering, um, didn't work. Um, you know, going to the park, um, just nature. Yeah, just just recognizing how good I feel at the park all the time. Like, let me hang out at the park more often. So then, yeah, I started going into the woods, um, walking a lot, um, and yeah, just, just looking out at life, looking at the trees, man. It's it's crazy. Isn't life beautiful? It's it's the best thing, man. It's the best thing. It's like a sense of completeness. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You just feel you're you're at the park, man. You're you're at the park. Um, it's the best place to be, honestly. Have you done hiking like, before? Um, I went one time hiking in Colorado, Denver. Mm-hmm. You've been to Colorado? Yeah, oh yeah. My god. Oh my god. I need to go. Stop it. I'm Stop. going in April. No, I'm going in April, bro. Bro. Let's go. Loki, Loki. I'm going in April. Loki. I no, I'm dead ass. I really want to go. Cause like everybody, I've had so many people. Shout out Phoenix. Shout out um all these other people. Shout out Phoenix. You know Phoenix? Nah. Okay. I think she... No, she's from Naperville, I think. But anyway, they all go to Colorado and they come back like a different person. I'm just like, I want to go to Colorado. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Let's go into the story. So, basically... um, Basically, y'all know Jimi Hendrix is my favorite. So then, um, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I go to Colorado. I'm with my moms and I'm with my stepdad, Mike G. Um, Really cool. Amazing people um, inspired me f- to have passion and you know keep keep going. Um, so yeah, so we're we're walking around Denver downtown, and then we go on the side of a uh, side of street, and then there's right there a big old painting of Willie Nelson, uh, Bob Marley, uh, Jimi Hendrix, um, and um, trying to think if there was anyone else on there. But point is, I saw Jimi Hendrix there. That was the same year I discovered Jimi Hendrix. So, it was like, uh, this man is speaking to me or something. I don't know. It's a it's a sign, you know? Like, yeah. it's a sign from the universe. No, for real. Sometimes, like, what's understood don't need to be explained. Mm-hmm. Words are so limited. Mm-hmm. You know? We can only say so much a word. It's a feeling. Yeah. And sometimes... And then, like, a lot of these, like, I've been watching a lot of podcasts lately, like, a lot of, like, interviews and stuff like that. It's, like, a lot of times people force things, like, force trying to get an answer out of somebody. Mm -hmm. It's really manipulative. And I I purposely try to stay away from that. Okay. As, like, a host, I try to stay away from, like, questions that, like, will be popular or, like, will get a big reaction, Mm -hmm. but come at somebody's expense. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because, like, sometimes somebody will feel pressure to answer a certain question because they're in a certain situation. But mm-hmm. then later on, they won't feel good about that. Okay. But then it'll 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 be popular because we like drama and we yeah. like so-and-so. I try to stay away from that. Okay. You know, unless it's, like, consensual. Unless, like, the person, you know, reveals that at their own will. That's fine, but... Yeah, yeah, bro. Ask me anything. Anything at all, bro. Ask me anything. No, for sure. For sure. Because um, I, I do feel like... There's an imbalance of energy. Okay. You know, and if you're if you're claiming to be someone who is, you know, trying to be, become your best version every day. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, the universe responds to somebody, not not who they say they are, who mm-hmm. they pretend to be, but who they actually are. Okay. And th- if you are actually somebody who has ulterior motives or mm-hmm. is actually trying to be manipulative about something, mm-hmm. then the universe is going to look at you as a manipulator. 
Wow. And it's going to fuck up your manifestations. Or it's going to give you something mm-hmm. that you don't want. Okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. you're going to manifest something that a manipulator will manifest. So it's just, and it's a journey. And we all have that sprinkled in our human experience because mm-hmm. of our experiences have molded us who we are. Yeah. And yeah. everybody's on different levels of their journey. Yeah. You know, so it's just, it's just food for thought. No, no, no. Definitely you know? food for thought. Um, yeah, we got to be more aware of our own minds and yeah. Yeah, meditate and just reflect on our minds, what they say to us. No, I feel that for sure. So, I was stalking your Instagram. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Vic M9777. One more time. One more time. Vic M9777. Follow my boy. <laughs> Very, like literally, I'm not going to lie. It's been a long week. Yeah. I was kind of in a down mood. You know, the spirits weren't at 100. But I dead ass. You know, I always do research before I have the interview. Okay. And I'm going through his, his Insta, and he's all these motivational, and the way he does it is brilliant. Uh, he has a friend of his kind of, you know, do poetry and really motivational stuff, and Vic is, like, in the background just jamming. And, like, that combination, it's almost like it's, it's, the, it's the duo we never thought we needed. Wow. But, like, it's beautiful that it's still. I never, like, I would never think to, like, just have a dude just, like, you yeah. just, like, jamming. You're not yeah. even playing a song. It's just... But it's just like it's it's the fact that like that's the vibe. I don't know wow. how to explain it. But wow. like dead ass that literally lifted me out of that. I wasn't depressed, but I was definitely yeah. like, oh another day, work tomorrow. But yeah. I was like, Oh, life is good. I was such an appreciative <laughs> What? No dead fucking ass Holy bro. Shit, the bro. impact you have sometimes no. you can't process it from first person, but like wow. you have an impact on others. Damn. And like that had an impact on me and that, that and I was like super hyped to like interview you. I was already yeah. hyped to interview you. Yeah, but yeah. I was even more hyped, like, yo, wow. this is about to come. I'm grateful I get to speak to him, like, wow. you know, so, like, for yeah. real, bro, like, how did you, how did that happen? That yeah. format of, like, you know, inspirational quotes and just jamming. Um, so, how that happened was Marquise, um, uh, actually, my boy Caesar, shout out Caesar. he's like, yo, check out this guy Marquise, um, he, he's, he's, like, look at him, like, he was just showing me his page, I was like, damn, bro, he, he he's hard, he's hard, bro, so then, um, yeah, we ended up. You know, he kind of introduced me, or he showed me his Insta, but slowly as I s- started working with Marquise, um, he, we were just like, yo, let's meet up. Let's meet up. Let's let's do something, man. I play, you know. Um, he, he he definitely did more of the initiative, though, if I'm going to be honest with you. He, yeah. he, he, dry, he drove more. More of the... Let's let's meet up tomorrow. Like like you know, let's do something. Like well, he definitely he definitely got it up. And then uh, yeah, we we started going in the morning, um, and uh, yeah, we were just with nature, um, watching the cardinals and being on a bridge or whatever. Mm. So just just being out in nature. Um, yeah. No, that format because we live in a society. Mm-hmm. With like social media, okay, you know Instagram. Mm-hmm. It's almost if you don't show what you're doing, you're not doing it. Mm-hmm. And I hate that it has to become like that. But you know, life, the only thing constant is change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so you do have to adapt with the times. Damn. You know, yeah. but just don't let that change who you are at the core. Okay. So I love how you you all are keeping it real. Yeah. But you all are also you know. Cause like you know today we like gotta have these reels and these Instagram yeah. videos. Yeah, you all yeah. Are still, it's a it's a savvy modern way. Yeah. Like these like one minute videos. Yeah, yeah. But yep. you know what I'm saying. So you all, so I like how you all are like still doing y'all. You play the guitar, but like you're keeping it like also it's it's marketable. Yeah. It's yeah. promotable. It's, yeah. Oh, one minute inspiration. So I love that. I love that concept. Yeah, one minute inspiration. We we gonna think of something now because you definitely got. I appreciate that, man. No, for real, for That's real. A- I love. It just has a lot of potential. Mm-hmm. And like, man, I want to see you all go crazy. I want to see oh. you all have everything. Okay, okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. There's no reason to not give it my all. Just be grateful. I'm... In this one video, in particular, I think it was um, the Who Are You. Okay. That one really moved me. Really? It was like, who are you, you know? Yeah, yeah. We're more than just our job. We're more than yeah. just a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, me, I never... Low-key, I don't usually watch inspirational videos. No, no. And I'm like, oh, it's kind of like, I don't know. But, like, I really... Probably, I vibe with it, because, like, I play guitar, too, so that yeah. probably helped. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like... 
it just seemed really genuine. Okay. You know? Who are you? Yeah. The who are you? And, and and you all watched the video, you know, blow up his Instagram. Gracias. It was, yeah. It was just telling, you know, everyone how just like, you know, we're born here and in this matrix, I don't like to use that word, but like society kind of programs us to be something. Yeah. Be this, be that, have a career. Mm -hmm. But he also says how like at the end of the day, we are sitting here with a higher purpose than just to be what society tells us to be. Mm -hmm. And I like how he leaves a hint. Or it kind of has us use our own imagination. Like, what is that? He doesn't tell us what it is. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. you almost have to dig and find your own purpose, which yeah. is deeper than anything that you do, which is deeper than any service that can be described or categorized or yeah. put into a box. Wow. But wow. So wow. I like. I just read into shit, and I took that as like we're limitless, you know, mm -hmm. and like we can do whatever we want, and we are just capable of so much more than we think we are you know yeah yeah no no we are we are i feel like i i can i feel like i could produce magic i feel like i i could i could use magic mm. yeah yeah like you know i feel that i don't know see what's my uh, meaning of magic you know that's what does that mean to you right i don't know it's it's just like light bro it's like light honestly I always use this expression, like affirmation, and like I always like to say we're light. Mm -hmm. Cause like, what does light do? It's everything. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep, everything. You know, cause also dark is everything. Mm -hmm. You know, cause you wouldn't see the light right. without shadow or darkness. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. Yep. And also. You wouldn't see the darkness without the absence of light. So you need one or the other mm -hmm. to see the other, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know? You need each other, yeah. And the reason I love light is to not to say I don't love darkness. Mm -hmm. And it's they're all part of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Light is darkness. And darkness is light. It's just we have tried to put terms on these two to make them separate. Right. They're actually same thing wow it's just less light is darkness and mm -hmm. more light but it's light light is Does that light make sense? yeah yeah it's like you turn the volume down so mm -hmm. you stop hearing it but is it really off or you just stop hearing it so say for example you were like a bug mm -hmm. like an ant right right so what's off for human ears mm -hmm. that ant probably can still it's not off it's just right. it's low that you can't hear it so right. it's almost we're limited by our physical forms. Yeah, yeah. But the actual thing itself is is never ending. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. So yeah. it's 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 really deep into the rabbit hole. And yeah. It's just like I love these thought experiments and I love yeah. having these conversations. You know. Oh okay, yeah, no, no, no. I I'm I'm always willing to go crazy with my mind. Like you know, I'm really just reflecting on my mind. Like you know. Pointing it out, like, yo, stop being so hard on yourself, you know? Yeah. When did so. you, when did you kind of realize that, like, the mind kind of holds you back? Or uh, what just, lesson kind of taught you that? No, I mean, there's a lot of things, but, um, you know, um, you just, you, 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 you look at your, well, I look at my family, they're the closest people to me, and I'm like, okay. You know, why Why wouldn't they want me to be... Why wouldn't they let me be, you know, what I want to be, you know? And you kind of just... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Hmm. Sometimes, you know, it's just a feeling. Uh-huh. Where do you just... Where do you see yourself? Because obviously, you know... Right now, you feel super confident. Like uh, you kind of know what you want to do. Yeah, you know? yeah. Where yeah. do you see yourself taking this, you know, two, three, four years? Shoot, from now? man. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, man, I want to get more music, music, musicians coming out of Humboldt Park and Logan Square. Um, yeah, man, that's the block. Yo, we could do block parties, man. We could, we could, we definitely did back then, you know? Like, it hasn't been as frequent, but. Yeah, we got block parties, but I'm saying like back then they were crazy. They they it was it was the whole block was lit, man. So
So, yeah, I'm going into my memory right now, but... Mm. Um, no, what's I do... The, what's I, the craziest memory from back to... <laughs> uh i was uh, i was at my neighbor's uh party and this is my cousin my primo nate shout out nate um, and um yeah we were we were in the downstairs in the basement and yeah they were playing that reggaeton they were playing that bachata and then um yeah one of my tios hands me a corona <laughs> Not over you, mister. i was like i had to be like four or five or something <laughs> So I'm I'm drinking on my hell yeah this is good so <laughs> that's funny right the fact that the fact that you remember that yeah no no I remember it that was those were fun times man man it's um, a different time you know yeah yeah it's a different time 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 of responsibility I guess yeah mm. how would you say like I I mean we were I guess are we still in a pandemic okay we kind of are still in a pandemic mm-hmm how has like the pandemic has that brought any revelations to you did you did it make yeah. you look at life a little differently yeah now i'm like all right man like i'm i'm definitely like i can't be hold i can't be relying on society to give me any any i don't know i feel like i can't rely on society so then um yeah that just makes me want to take charge and yeah just give it give give life my all give life the best Everything that I can. Got. Everything I got, yeah. Yeah, to be That's honest. Beautiful. With. All right, man. To wrap things up. Yeah, yeah. What is um what's something they can expect from you? you um know, as you're building a fan base, you know, you're touching people. Yeah, yeah. You know, what can what can people expect from you in the next few weeks, few months? Um, yo, so come through. I'm throwing a Halloween costume party October 29th. Um Okay. I got the flyer posted um on my site, Vicm ninety seven seventy seven. Um, bring a costume, bring an instrument. Um, yeah, let's let's have a let's have a good time. I love that. Yeah, come through, Amadou. Come through, Prince. You know what's up. Heck yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, thank you for the invite. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Now I'm having anxiety. What am I gonna? Do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a. Uh, I'm not gonna say my costume, but I'm gonna have one. Mm, don't snitch on yourself, and bro. <laughs> <laughs> you almost, you almost said it, but you're like, okay. All right. So, uh, oh, before we do, have boots to sponsor me, bitch. Quit playing with me. Kavita. Damn. No, I'm mad. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm furious, bro. Like, listen. Listen. This is episode 20 fucking 2. And y'all still ain't Damn. hit my line yet. Y'all ain't hit my DMs yet. And Come on. I don't know how I feel about I know how exactly how the fuck I feel. I feel like I'm finna beat y'all ass because I know where y'all live. All right? Don't make me tell the address. I'm going to have my hit anyway. You know what? Episode I'm 23. I'm going to have my ancestors slide up on y'all on not my hitters. But... Um, episode 23, y'all got a deadline. Y'all got yeah. a deadline, yep. okay? Give me my motherfucking money. My cash app is cash app, S-A-L-I-M-O-T-H. Um, I'm accepting nothing less than $10,000. It's like, it's time, come it's on. It's like anything less than that, I don't want it. But it's time. Ass, like, give me anything 10000 and up, okay? Yeah. If you give me $9,999, I will literally throw it in your face. Yeah, how me. real are you? Come on. How dare? It's yeah. the... It's the it's the audacity for me. Yeah, yeah. You know? how, how how real are they? Come on. Exactly. Um. Anywho, this is the my favorite part. Okay. Um. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. But most importantly, most importantly, stay hydrated. Stay breathing in that good ass oxygen. And most importantly. Most importantly, stay basic. Stay right. basic. Hey, you someone go to the race. Can take this MS okay. We gonna party the day. Oh, anxiety, where did you go? Depression, you can say hello. Say then are my friends or my foes. Say then are my friends or my foes. Hey, you someone go to the race. Can take this MS okay. We gonna party the day.